So we're on our way to Home Depot. We're gonna go Home, Home Depot alone. I don't know what you looked up. It don't matter. I think Home Depot. Is any one of those by Target? I like orange better. Yeah, Home Depot is by Target, so that's where we go. We're going. We need to do a dry, a dry erase board for our home office. Whoa! I'm gonna show you guys how I do this because I don't think just entrepreneurs or people who work at home should have dry erase boards. I think everyone should, because there's something magical about writing something down and looking at it every single day. So, whether you are an entrepreneur, whether you have a nine to five, whether you are a stay-at-home mom or stay-at-home dad, you need a dry erase board and you need to write the visions for your life, you need to write your goals down and stare at them joints every day. In the hood, we couldn't afford basketball hoops. So we play basketball on what device? On what device? On what contraption? Well, we, I don't know, because we literally used a laundry basket. And What'd you use? We used to cut the bottom out of a milk, a milk crate. And the basketball would fit in there? Yes! What's a burner? A phone that you sell weed and drugs from that is a little flip phone. Ooh, that's a that's a double I was I was talking about a gun, but that's a good answer. Yeah. The burner phone. Hmm. Yeah. Damn, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> How many Chinese food restaurants are there in a 10 block radius? Holy crap, I probably can't count. The only reason I knew that is because I finally went to New York. And I would drive, we drove around and walked around oh, that's in the certain spots. Why, yeah. That's the only reason, because I mean I could have guessed because you know movies or whatever. Or There's or literally six Chinese around. food restaurants in a 10 block radius in my hood. Yeah. And it just got dark. When you see a chick going like this, what is she doing? She's scratching. Cause that's not a hood quiz. Cause that's like a normal. But, but why? But why is she patting her head? Because she don't want to mess up her tracks in there. Nah, she because she probably gonna get a perm and if she scratch it, it's gonna burn. What was Gucci Man's first single? <gasps> I don't know. Very first. What's the He's first Gucci Man song you ever He's heard? He's gonna be really upset. He's gonna be upset me. with you. Yo, wop. Trust me, she's a fan. I don't know why she's drawing a blank right now. I promise. I'm what is it? Fan. What's the first Gucci Man song you ever heard? <laughs> so icy. No. How you no, how you get no, so icy? No, no. Yes, that that's it. This chick did some research. So I so icy apparently wasn't Gucci Man's first single. Whatever. She be putting on. I never even heard this song. Hold on. That's Waka Flocka? There's no way. That's no there's no way that that's his first single. Waka Flocka wasn't even born yet. The secret to my fast nowadays, the, the way I've been able to extend my fast every day <clears throat> is by drinking a big iced coffee. Here's my dilemma with the iced coffee from 7-Eleven. They want you to put a cup of ice. They want you to give you they want you to take a big cup of ice and then put hot coffee in it. So the coffee's never really cold because the, the, the coffee kind of just melts the ice right away. But I got a trick for them. I'm about to try it for the first time right here. I'm going to take two cups. I'm going to take one cup of ice. I'm going to chill the coffee first. Now it's cold. Now I'm gonna just add some ice to this. And I'm Gucci. So I seen a girl in there ordering a whole pizza. What? You gotta, you a hoe. If you eat 7 Eleven pizza, you a hoe. <gasps> he has no filter. So look, um. I don't know that by now. Um, 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 um. Ice oh yeah, iced coffee. So look, so coffee, black coffee is the only thing you can drink besides water that, that does not break your fast. I had to learn this the hard way. Um, so when I get this big off, off coffee, off coffee, off coffee, when I get this big iced coffee, right, yeah. this thing lasts, lasts me until uh, probably about one or two o'clock if I start sipping it at about 10. Mm -hmm. 
and it extend it makes my fasting so easy. It makes it so easy because I'm so productive. I'm so super focused when I'm drinking coffee. And I've never been a coffee drinker in my life. But this right here is a game changer. Black coffee is the key to intermittent fasting successfully. What are you doing? Taking a picture. So we just pulled up to Home Depot. And it's raining. So I'm trying to plot how I'm going to get this camera in there. Matter of fact, I got this bag. So the name of the board we're looking for is Thrifty Whiteboard. We're, we're looking for Thrifty Whiteboard. Like uh, plastic paneling? Yeah. It's going to be down here. Okay. You guys have a key? Yep. Yes. So, um, you need to get it cut. Please. Um, we can't cut this, we can only cut wood. I'm about to go to Lowe's. So the homie helped us cut it with his hand saw because the damn what's the name saw is broken. So now we gotta grab some uh, nails and stuff, right? We got no not nails, we gotta get some screws. Call Yo, this is the struggle trying to get this shit in here right now. This is why we need a truck. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. No, just push the top down. Yeah. Ooh, Tyrone got a little scratched up. All right, so we're back home. I'm about to install this dry erase board, the whiteboard right here. I'm not going to use no stud finder. I'm just going to drill the screws into the wall. way to the gym right now if you have yet to leave this video a thumbs up please leave the video a thumbs up we are training back today back I'm gonna probably hit a little bit of buys Ooh, I get a lot of people asking me yo where can I buy your t-shirts you can buy my t-shirts and my training programs my online coaching services I should say at bricksfitness.com bricksfitness.com that, that old lady was giving me the googly eyes I missed it. She was old too, like That's some cool some wrinkle job. work. All right, so for this entire workout, I'm going to focus more on the eccentric part of the motion, which is the downward motion. So I'm gonna explode up, and I'm gonna come down slowly. It's just a change of pace, change of the way that your muscle is being targeted, and uh, your body likes change. So. Focus on the eccentric part. So explode on the concentric. So if, for instance, on a dumbbell uh, curl, this is concentric, this is eccentric. So if you explode up, well, you're not gonna do this because you want your elbow to stay here, but for the sake of Misha showing you, explode up and then come down slow. Up, down, slow. So these are negative pull-ups. Again, you wanna focus on the downward motion. So I'm gonna hop up. I'm gonna go downward as slowly as possible. Again, we're just trying to hit the muscles in a different way.
finished my cardio. I was looking at some uh, photography YouTube videos. I'm really into this photography thing right now. It's lit. So I'm about to go home and eat breakfast because what time is it? I fasted till four o'clock today. Like this is insane.